All right, welcome back to One Bills Live. Chris Brown, Steve Tasker with you here at Bills Training Camp, St. John Fisher University, and happy to be joined now by the man who wears number 58 in your program, linebacker Matt Milano. Matt, good to have you. Appreciate um, you guys having me on. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, what are we around, day 9, day 10? I know you had a day off yesterday, but are we getting to the to the heavy leg period of camp? <laughs> we're in it right now. I yeah. don't know where we're at, but I'm just coming every day <laughs> ready to rock. <laughs> Does once, it, you, once you start counting the days, right. you get lost in the, yeah. oh, lost in the sauce. Do you, so we've been watching it. Does the defense feel as good as it looks? It does. With, and the player, you know what I mean? Yeah, it does, especially with those guys up front. Yeah. I mean, you can just feel them getting off the ball, creating havoc, and that helps everybody out, the defenders, linebackers, DBs, everybody. So so tell me, tell me, with those big guys up there, how does it help you and Tremaine the most? Is it all about just keeping you guys clean so you can run and hit, or is there another benefit also to – I mean, because they're just holding stuff up. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, I think it's a little bit of both, you know. They're getting off the ball, creating havoc. I mean, once you snap at the ball and the guy's in your face, it, it creates a little bit of a not who do I got, but the linemen essentially don't know who they're blocking at that point. Yeah. So once they get off the ball and they're just big dudes up there, Jordan Phillips, big dude Ed, coming off the ball, right. balling outside, everybody. So it's been, it's been fun to play with so, so far. So basically nobody's – coming into your kitchen so you got full view of where your landmarks are and where you got to be yeah. right and if, and if they are then it creates a one-on-one for them up front which helps right. us out as well yeah you guys have, have coming into your year fifth year now i think right sixth, sixth year yep. and you and tremaine you must be like an old married couple by this <laughs> time right i mean <laughs> finish a little each bit other, right yeah no but we've we've been, been around each other so much you know, once you're with anybody, I'm sure you guys have yeah. the same chemistry. You can just tell. Yeah, what but we don't like do. each other. So yeah, it's a little yeah. different. No, nah, I got you guys. But yeah, it's been, <laughs> it's been fun, and we, you can kind of tell what he's going to do. You know, what he's going to yeah. call, where he's going to be at. Just that feeling of where he is at times helps a lot. How has the film sessions changed between the two? And the, you know, with the linebackers saved. I know you guys go in, you watch some film, and how, you know, breaking it down. How has that changed over the course? Not just from last year and the year before, but even this year with the new guys up front and. And how the conversation changes because of all the new guys. Yeah, I mean, we've been together, I think this is our sixth year, I want to say. Most of us have been together for six years. So we kind of have grown from the basics of where we're aligned at and what the scheme is to now thinking about what the offense is doing and how they're attacking us. So that's kind of been our focus is where, where are we getting attacked and how are they attacking us? Yeah. I know I already addressed the big guys in the middle, but with Vaughn added to the pass rush, I mean, your eyes are going to be getting big on third and nine sometimes because you know if he's not getting the guy on the ground he's probably forcing a bad throw somewhere at some point in time and that means opportunities for you right exactly yeah i mean you know that the edge defender changes the whole entire game right in one snap so it's a blessing to have him and i'm sure we'll see some some great things a lot of you guys are smiling season, in the back seven and with good reason yeah. <laughs> yeah you guys you guys walk into this training camp and expectations are sky high i mean it could not be higher Yep. and you kind of went through that last year. You had a, a tremendous 2020 season, got out of the AFC Championship game. So people knew about you last year. When you come in now and you walk into the locker room, you had the number one defense last year. And I was talking to somebody this year. There's a chance, because of the quarterbacks you, you kind of, by happenstance, had to play last year, there's a chance you could be a much better defense this year, even though you were number one last year, and not be ranked as highly just because of the way the, the chips fall during the regular season. Have you guys... So how do you guys handle that, the expectation of being a better defense and already being ranked number one? Yeah, I mean, we're not so much as looking at numbers and statistics and where we're at in the realm to everybody else. We're just focused on us coming out each and every day, um, getting after the quarterback, making plays on defense. I think that's what it comes down to. You know, so once you start worrying about what number you are, where, where you're placed at, you kind of fall on that whole right. thing of trying to yeah. do too much or do too less. So I think just coming out every day, um, working and building – Working on your craft and building yourself. I think that's where I think that's where it's going to shine at. Right. You got a new coach in the room, not new to the staff, and the guy's got the same name as the previous guy, but it's Bob Babich's son, Bobby. Yep. Um, I'm curious because he's coming from that secondary level. Is, is he bringing anything new to the table? I mean, this defense—you guys know it like the back of your hand. Is he bringing anything new to the table from a linebacker perspective? Because I've got to believe there are some coverage things that he can kind of lend to you guys yep. you know in that way yeah bobby's been great um from day one he's brought in some new energy some new juice i love bob as well bob has been great as well so yeah. it's been blessed to be right. coached by both the babbages two generations two yeah. generations of babbages uh can't beat that but no bobby's been great um you know just little technique stuff working on our craft 
it's just every every day he's on it, you know. Younger guy um, coming in there with some juice, so it's been fun to be around him and yeah, being I mean, coached by him. He almost tackled Tremaine after he made the interception the other day. He was yeah, he, he was like pumped up. Uh, I think he's he ready was to, more excited he's ready than to get in there sometimes before we are. <laughs> so you're also one of the guys who've been around long enough to remember being here, leaving for training camp, yep. being in Orchard Park, now coming back. Give us your idea about what it's like to be back in, in yeah. Rochester. Now it's, it's been fun um, being in front of the fans. I don't think a lot of these fans can get to Buffalo or the practices right. are closed when we are there. So it's been fun to get back in front of the fans, uh, sign some autographs, you know, yeah. relate to them, be in the realm with them. So it's been fun. I've, I've enjoyed it so far. Yeah. You're, as Steve mentioned, this is year six for you, and it's almost at a point now where you may have to fill a little bit of a mentor role, especially with a guy like Terrell Bernard, you know, the rook coming in, yep. who – kind of runs around and covers ground like you do yep. i'm not saying he's you yeah. but in that same kind of body type mold to a certain extent guy that can move around uh can cover like you what can you lend to him in terms of you know helping him be quick on the uptake with this defense yeah i mean he's been great he's captured the defense since day one um so i don't think that's an issue to worry about okay. with him pretty but, sharp um, yeah, yeah he's he's running around. i'm sure you've seen him out there yeah. running around making right, plays yeah. he had an interception the other day yep so He's good to go. But, yeah, I'm just doing everything I can. Any questions I can answer, um, just giving them little tips here and there, watching film film study, weight room stuff, taking care of your body, just trying to trying to get him with the speed with everybody he else. Because he is more of a linebacker of your time. Like, you and Tremaine are a little different. Tremaine's just this big condor-type well, guy. Yeah, he's long lever. And, and he also has this rip. He's an, he's an A equals B, B equals C. And you're out there going, if I see the ball, I'm going to, you know, kind of a more reactive kind of player. That's That strikes me as more what Bernard is. Uh, even if he's going to be playing both Mike and Will, or both you guys are backing him up, or whatever, yep. can he still can he play Tremaine's spot like you play your spot, like with that kind of attitude and style? Yep, he's all over the field. Yeah. He's doing his thing. Um, Bobby's done a great job of having him learn both positions. So I mean, I've, he's impressed me so far out here. Yeah. Is there is there anything left for? I mean, you're always trying to get better every single day. We hear Josh all the time because people are asking him all the time, hey, what are you working on this offseason? And he's always got a list. I'm sure you do too. Is there anything with your personal game that after watching film from last year, he said, when I come back in August, I am going to be better at that? Yep, I'm just trying to be dominant this year. Everything okay. I do in the run game, in the pass game, locking people up, making tackles, being all over the field, that's what I'm trying to do. Like a that's decisive win on yep. every play. Every, every play. Right. I'm going crazy. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> give us an idea of what your off season was like. I mean, you end the season on that sour note, yeah. And you know, 31 teams are unhappy. Uh, you guys get back together. You start the OTAs. How you know what's been the vibe been like in building to this point? Yeah, I mean, it's been every day we're coming to work um, with that championship in mind. So everybody knows that's the goal. Every team, that's the goal. Um, but yeah, that's just, that's that's definitely on our minds. What about tomorrow? You got this return of the Blue and Red going to be in the stadium for a minute. What are you telling them? What are the young guys saying? What's the vibe like in the locker room looking yeah. for tomorrow? With it? There's going to be a ton of people. Not It's not going to be full, but there's going to be a lot of well, This has been a lot of people at training camp. It's yeah. going to be a lot of people tomorrow. What's the vibe in the locker room? Yes. Yeah. Guys? guys are excited to get back to Buffalo. Yeah. Uh, we've been here for a little bit. So getting back there in front of the fans, uh, some of the younger guys, their first time playing in the stadium, just being around the stadium, interacting with those fans. So. I'm excited. They're excited. Yeah. Should be fun. Yeah. You just celebrated a birthday this week. Happy belated. Thank you. Um, I know your folks were here at camp for a little bit. Did, yep. you, did you at least get a chance to get out, or did meetings kind of prevent that? Did you get to do anything for your birthday, even a birthday dinner with the folks? Or? Yeah, we just grabbed a quick little lunch. Okay. Grabbed some tacos. Ta kept okay. it casual. Nobody yeah. sang happy birthday to you? Did somebody sing happy birthday? In uh, Spanish, maybe, at the Mexican uh, joint. We, ce we celebrated before I got here, actually, so it wasn't, oh, that, all right. wasn't that big of a deal. Did you, like, low play it? With the lager and tunnel. He low plays yeah, everything. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, Off the field, want, he's pretty low. You don't key. need that. Yeah, yeah, no. That's a pain. Yeah. <laughs> are you are you a Mex are you a Mexican food guy? Uh I enjoy it. Yeah. I enjoy all different types of cuisine. Because Jordan Phillips is like Is he? He's way into Mexican. Really? Like, yeah. Like he's I didn't a, know that. Yeah, he's big on that. So. Yeah, shout out to so are we. Tacos. So, Steve. so what do you, yeah, tell me about, everybody st was talking about turkey burgers at the, uh, we've missed them. We have not gotten one I yet. had one. I'm going to try and They're get one. good. Your thoughts on the turkey burger controversy? Turkey burgers are solid. Solid? I'm personally a regular burger kind of guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think you got to come in. Grass fed, but. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, he's a pretty clean eater. He knows what he's doing. He's a clean eater now. <laughs> grass fed. Nah, the turkey burgers Hormone are good. Free. I don't right. know what they're cooked in, but they're good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Did you uh, incorporate anything new into your off season? 
training regimen. Guys are always trying to keep things fresh Yo. so they don't get mundane, especially in the off season. Did you incorporate anything different to kind of keep things fresh for you so you're still grinding like you always do? Or? Yeah, so I, would, I like to keep a little balance in my training, just go hard and then rest of the day kind of hang out. Okay. Um, I don't know. I was in the ocean a lot. I don't know if that does anything for you. For Are you Gulf side or ocean Gulf side? side? Okay. Very nice. Yep. Hanging out in that ocean, that salt water supposedly heals you a little bit. So. Oh, okay. I don't know. We'll see if that works. A little homeopathic. Yeah. yeah. Routine. Yeah. All right. Uh, last one from me. I got. I want to ask you about you know, this upcoming season. You guys, you find out what the schedule is going to be. First half of the schedule, you're playing against a ton of playoff teams, a lot of marquee players, the world champions to kick off the whole season. There's a lot of things that. Uh, speak to how high the expectations are. A lot of prime time games and like that. How does it play for you personally to be part of the group that came from a team that was couldn't get to the playoffs for 17 years and now are considered to be the front runner? What what it means when people all over the country are like going, yeah, that Bills team's a problem. Yeah, for me it feels good. I want to go out there and show everybody what we can do. You know, take that. Take that high expectation and show them why we're there, why mm-hmm. they think we're the best. Right. So that's the mindset I'm going in with. Let them know. Let them put it out on display. Show them yeah. why we are where we are. Well, Matt, thanks for the time. We know, uh, you know, time is short this time of year when you guys are grinding. So thanks for stopping by. Good, good stuff, If man. we don't talk to you, good luck the rest of the way going into the regular season. Stay healthy. Okay. okay. We want you for 17 games out there, fam. Yes, right. sir. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thanks, Matt. That's Matt one. Milano joining us here on One Bills Live.